everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Advanced Test Automation Engineer. We are in chapter 6 and continuing ahead with the next topic 6.2 Identify steps needed to implement automation within regression testing. To begin with this topic we actually have to recall certain parameters with respect to regression testing which is really important in terms of maintenance of an existing software. Generally, an automation caters two different aspects of testing, which is functional and regression. Where functionals are the basic testing levels which can be executed with help of automation testing tool, whereas regression is one of the major criteria why would you like to automate. So regression invites a lot of support towards automation and could really be very beneficial in terms of uh, minimizing the effort required for automating the regression test. So in developing the steps to prepare to automate regression tests, there are a number of questions which can be asked and that is what we are trying to understand here. Now when you look at the points given here, the questions which can be really asked during the preparation is how frequently should, be, uh, should the test be run? Uh, like quite often regressions are being executed, so we need to identify how often. What is the execution time for each test for the regression suite? Is there a functional overlap between test do tests share data at that point of time? Are the tests dependent on each other? What preconditions are required before test execution? What percentage of SUT coverage do the tests represent? Do the tests currently execute without failure? Or what should happen when regression tests take too long? So we need to understand all these factors in detail before we actually automate regression test suite. So we will be understanding each of these questions in detail, so let's quickly understand them hereafter. So the first point is frequency of test execution which actually plays a vital role in determining the how frequently your tests are being executed. Because the executed test could invite a lot of effort which could be required in terms like it could be having a tremendous support uh, reduced uh, by having an automation for uh, regression testing. So generally if you are doing it manually and you see that there is a quite frequently your tests are being executed it's best time to switch from manual to automation. But if you are not executing them quite frequently, then of course manual could be the best thing to be, become money saving and efficient for you. The test execution time is also equally important to understand how much time does the test execution consume. Because if you are talking about lengthy tests or the you know, long executions, probably the automation would be quite helpful at this point of time. But if you think that the execution time is less or the tests are being small and simple, the uh, probability of getting an automation solution would be low when compared to manual because manual you can still accommodate when you have less execution time. So to reduce the execution time, automation would be the best solution. Functional overlap. Now, when automating existing regression tests, you might be having a regression test suite uh, written manually already. It is a good practice to identify any functional overlap that exist between the test cases and wherever possible reduce that overlap in the equivalent automated test. So generally what happens like when you convert your manual to automated test cases probably a lag or overlap could be possible that you have created the test cases for. So it's very really important to overcome the uh, overlap which when you do the conversion between the manual to the automation and then a more automated test can be executed. Data sharing is very common and easy to understand that typically when you talk about uh, executing a particular test, uh, even when you talk about manual, you talk about automation, a common set of data could be used for different tests. Now generally when you talk about uh, sharing the data, uh, possibility is that the same cop data can be copied and pasted for the different tests when you talk about manual. So copying and duplicating the data would take a longer time when you talk about automation you can have a common resource you can have a repository where your resource can be storing all the information which you require and then automation can actually pull up all different tests can pull up the data from a common source you don't have to replicate yourself by doing the manual thing so could be again beneficial when you talk with respect to data sharing also test interdependency when executing complex regression test scenarios one test may have a dependency on one or more tether test. So we need to recognize that such that the automation framework or the regression suites which are created have a calling function to pick up the test which need to be run after that. 
because man will we understand the control flow manually and we go to the particular test the automation framework need to be created in such a way that it automatically picks up the respective tests with help of data driven or keyword driven frameworks further in continuation we are talking about the test precondition often a test cannot be executed prior to setting initial conditions so these conditions may be included selecting the correct database or test data which would be required for the execution so these will be some basic protocols to be taken care if you are going for automation so we need to understand how the prerequisite information or how the uh, pre-order information would be created or settled up before going for automation so do you have a provision to do that and several other factors related to this which will be utilized in terms of conditions SUT coverage what kind of coverage does your test have how many test cases are being exercised how many test cases are being executed what you have written for so in order to ascertain overall SUT quality tests need to be designed in order to have the broadest and deepest coverage so though your manual could have a you know low efficiency and you would have created certain tests which wouldn't have a uh, big coverage now as you're trying to automate you can answer this question there in more detail stating that are we are we having a possibility of creating more deeper test cases to have a better coverage because manual to reduce money or to cost cut you could have done less number of test cases to do so or you're not executing all the test cases so probably you have a provision now to do that and have a better coverage executable test before converting a manual regression test into the automated it is really important to verify that the manual test operates correctly so you need to verify because from time to time uh, the system would have updated already and the test which you're trying to automate may be out of date may be out of date so you need to cross verify the executions of manual tests before you can actually convert them into automations because the time which you'll be investing to convert them into automated format would be any additional cost will be invited rather than working on a good one so if your test is no longer valid there's no point wasting your time converting them into automated format last but not the least we're talking about large regression test sets the set of regression test for an automated uh, SUT can become quite large so large that the time test set cannot be completely executed overnight or over the weekend in this case concurrent executions of test cases is possibility if multiple SUTs are available so I think we are talking about creating the copies of it keeping the replicas keeping different ports different servers where you can run these different suites on the new version of it so when you talk about the larger test suites we just make sure that you may have to consider creating the replicas of the copy of the SUT and then run the test simultaneously instead of running an entire test suite on one particular piece of code so this is how we understand about implementing automation within regression testing so that's all from this particular tutorial team should you have anything beyond this feel free to comment below I'll be there to address your queries and answer them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team, and happy learning.